Hi, I'm Clay Hood with Precision Pro Golf. I quickly wanted to go over a few troubleshooting items with the NX7 Pro Rangefinder. The first issue we see are the uh, modes, yards or meters. Um, obviously, if the product's in the wrong mode based on what you're trying to measure, man, if you're, in, if you're trying to measure in yards and the product's in meters, you're going to have issues with accuracy. So you want to look through the display. You want to see if there's an M for meters or a YD for yards. If there is the wrong one, hold that mode button down for about two seconds. You'll see that change. It's very important to make sure that that is um, displayed correctly. Secondly is slope or non-slope versions. So M1 is non-slope, M2 is our slope version. That non-slope version is tournament legal. Our M2, our slope version, is not tournament legal. To change those, you just press the mode button one time. Uh, very important if you're playing in a tournament not to turn that on. That could cause you an issue. Um, always look through there and make sure that that's, that's, the, um, that's the case. Um, Next, with the NX7 Pro Rangefinder, one thing we see, we've made this product nice and compact. It's easy to use, easy to store. One issue with that, though, is we can see people get their kind of their finger around the front of the rangefinder there. If that happens, that it kind of blocks the display, can cause issues with accuracy. So when you're using this, make sure you keep your hands back on the product like this. Don't get to a spot where that thumb or that, that little finger gets around the front of the product there. That can cause issues. Um, last thing we see is a situation where you may only see a part of the flag. There could be a hill. There could be a bunker kind of blocking the way, you know, the, the laser technology on a rangefinder is actually really good at filtering out the flag versus trees and things behind the, behind the target. Um, and with that, with that, we see that if there's like a hill in the way or there's kind of a bunker in the way and you can only see a little bit of the flag, it could be a little tough to pick up the flag because, you know, it's, it's hitting that hill or it's hitting whatever else you see. So in that case, you may have to kind of step on the cart. You may have to move side somewhere where you can get a little bit more of the flag, makes it much easier to pick up that target.